transcript with more powerful engines the Z10 could also carry more protective armor plates payloads and even install an additional millimeter wave fire control radar on top of its rotor for longer attack range and higher accuracy. The Z-10 attack helicopter was developed by the Chong Aircraft Industries Group and China Helicopter Research and Development Institute for the People's Liberation Army. The helicopter is being manufactured by Chong Aircraft Industries Corporation. The Z-10 attack helicopter can be primarily deployed in anti-armor and battlefield interdiction missions. The helicopter can also conduct limited air-to-air -air combat operations. The Z-10 helicopter took to the skies for the first time in April 2003. The first helicopter was delivered to the PLA in 2009. The Z-10 was displayed for the first time at the 9th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition in Zhuhai in November 2012. The Z-10 incorporates a conventional attack helicopter layout featuring a nail-down fuselage and step tandem cockpits. The fuselage with a sloped side is tapered to the rear for a reduced radar cross-section. The helicopter is equipped with five-bladed main rotor and four-bladed tail rotor two engines are mounted at the rear of the cockpit. The helicopter has a length of 14.1 meters, rotor diameter of 13 meters and a height of 3.8 meters, the maximum takeoff weight of the Z-10 is 18. The electronic countermeasures suite of the Z-10 integrates a radar warning receiver a laser warning receiver, an infrared jammer and shaft flare decoy launching system the modular design also adapts the latest systems replacing the existing jamming and decoy launching systems. The Z-10 is powered by two Prav and Whitney Canada PT-6C67C turboshaft engines. China's military has revealed an upgraded Z-10 attack helicopter with a more powerful engine which reduced infrared signal. The Z-10 was recently used in a Chinese multi-domain amphibious assault drill wherein the land-based helicopters landed on and conducted missions from the deck of a Chinese Type 071 amphibious assault ship. Chinese People's Liberation Army is preparing for air and amphibious attacks upon the island of Taiwan and strategically crucial areas of the South China Sea using new air assault raid tactics and high-speed attack helicopters. The preparations which included a number of Chinese Z-10 attack helicopters and Mi-171 transport helicopters involved over-the-sea transport and landing exercises in the sea region south of East China's Fujian province Z-10 attack helicopters and Mi-171 transport helicopters skimmed over the sea. In formations to break up defense positions as they fast maneuvered to an unknown island on the high seas at least one Z-10 attack helicopter featured in the drills is the latest upgraded variant with upward-facing exhaust openings which are expected to reduce the chopper's infrared signals and make it harder to target. The Z-10 exhaust and side structures appear to be conformal and rounded in what could easily be seen as an attempt to increase stealth characteristics. The exhaust also does look horizontal if not upward-facing. China's Z-10 attack helicopter emerged in 2003 as what could be seen as a rather transparent response to the war-tested and highly effective U.S. Apache helicopter. After all the Z-10 does appear to have a number of similarities which may not be by accident, interestingly several pictures of the Z-10 appear to raise the question as to whether the helicopter is a bit of a hybrid between two American designs. The Z-10 resembles both the Apache helicopter and Bell's new stealthy-looking Invictus Future attack reconnaissance aircraft now being developed as part of the Army's future vertical lift program. By virtue of being built with a sloping tandem cockpit, somewhat of a narrowed front end, underneath gun and wing hanging external pylons the Z-10 does clearly resemble the Apache with a few differences. The Apache while a highly cherished and successful helicopter slated to fly for decades to come, was not designed as a stealthy platform, the top of its fuselage is rectangular and much more angled than Invictus. Developing this thought a little further, it does not seem surprising that the Global Times report would quote an analyst describing the Z-10 as possibly having somewhat stealthy characteristics, what all of this may amount to is that yes. The Z-10 does look like an Apache ripoff in many key respects, while also seeming to reveal several initial steps toward engineering a stealthier helicopter. The latest Z-10 seconds engine has its exhaust openings facing upward instead of outward like the early model, with the exhaust from engines, pointed upward instead of outward can lower the helicopter's infrared signal and weapons like infrared guided missiles will less likely lock onto the helicopter. 
However this design will increase drag force raising the power requirement for the helicopter's engines, this explains that the engine is more powerful and taken from the export version of the Z10. The Z10 Mi also featured this design. Chinese state-owned media have revealed more details about an upgraded variant of the Z-10 attack helicopter in service with the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. We tank a program on military affairs from state broadcaster China Central Television, showed images on 7 September of an upgraded Z-10 operated by an aviation brigade of the 79th Group Army and fitted with new engine exhaust outlets pointing upwards instead of the previous outward sideways configuration, in an apparent effort to reduce the helicopter's infrared signature as seen from the ground. Moreover, the rotorcraft shown in the footage features extra armor panels that have been externally attached to the helicopter. The CCTV footage shows that the panels which are presumably on both sides of the tandem seat helicopter are present in three areas the first two panels, can be seen just below both of the cockpit side windows with the third panel located under the front cockpit window. Music The third panel which is the largest of the three, covers the lower middle section of the housing for the helicopter's WZ-9 turboshaft engine. The program quoted unnamed analysts as saying that the armor plates are likely to be made from a new type of composite material that is not only stronger but also much lighter than steel and mower. Witank said the upgraded version is also equipped with a new identification friend or foe system and a new antenna for the Baidu satellite navigation system to help ensure its combat capability in a complex electromagnetic environment. For more such video you can subscribe our channel.